terrible voice. <laughs> this is definitely more vloggy, because I don't have time to just, uh, well, I guess I do have the time, but I don't want to. I just got back from Vegas, Tyler's uh, batch party. Anyways, this video is about Nugget. It's actually about <clears throat> my first ever film role, uh, shooting film on my Canon F1. Q sick ass B roll now. So, this camera, the film camera that I was using, is from the 70s and it had to jerry-rig something with the battery to make it actually fit, and the battery is more modern instead of a mercury-based battery that they used back in the 70s, which, when oxidizing, releases about 1.3 volts or something, and this one releases 1.5 or something. So anyways, I didn't know if that would mess with the light sensor on the inside of that. So I don't know if it messes with the uh, light sensor on the inside of the camera, uh, which when you aim at different things exposes. There's like a little meter that you can match up and it'll properly expose to what you're looking at. And I didn't know if having a newer battery would mess with that and be uh, come out either over or underexposed. So this roll was, there's a lot of garbage shots, not gonna lie, but that's mainly just to see if that internal sensor was just actually functioning properly as it should, nothing was messed up, but uh, the photos came out looking pretty good. And I'll show you the top ones that I liked and then maybe I'll include some of the garbage ones. Saturday, 7.24 p.m. Only key to survive is Q. Only key to survive is Q. If the elements don't murder you, the ride is well for real. And they know I go hard to the fullest, get involved and I got them playing dodgeball. Hey, what's up you guys? This is voiceover Kev and I just wanted to point out how sweet grain is from uh, film photography, especially you can see it in low light situations and you can still see it in daytime situations just fine, especially when you zoom in. And here are just some sick ass photos of the F1 along with some video of how it looks like through the waist level viewfinder. And before I forget, huge shout out to technology connections they have an excellent video going through all the different features of this camera also how i learned about the battery trick i'll leave a link in the description to their channel all right and thanks you guys for watching please subscribe you know all that jazz and we'll see you in like six months when we put out the next video bye